What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the iPhone 12 and what port is going to come at the bottom of the phone. Don't get too excited. It's going to be the lightning port again. So the regular lightning cable that has always worked with iPhones for the last I don't even know how many years, 10 years, I guess, at this point, maybe a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, is going to be the same port that you get on the iPhone 12 series of phones. The big change is going to come on the iPhone uh, you know, 13 series of phones, and that's going to be when the phones are going to be completely portless. So you'll be able to wirelessly charge it. Maybe it'll have some kind of connector, but there's not going to be anything to plug in physically into the phone. So if you're waiting for a USB-C phone or a completely portless phone for the iPhone 12, again, you'll have to wait for the iPhone 13 at the very earliest. Next up, if you're a big gamer and you have a OnePlus 8 or 8 Pro and you love Fortnite, well, good news to you because they're now announcing that officially you can play the Fortnite game in 90 frames per second. It's the first time on a smartphone that you're able to do this. Uh, it should be available, I believe, today that you can do this. Um, and also, I'm not sure if at 90 frames per second, if you're able to do that at ultra settings or medium or whatever, it doesn't say too much about that. But again, 90 frames per second for the smoothest experience on a smartphone. If you're still interested in getting a Note 10 Plus, you can get a really, really good deal right now on the Microsoft Store uh, online. So they sell and they have been selling the Galaxy phones here for a while. You can get it in any of the colors they offer. If you want the Note 10 Plus, 256, it's 749. And then the best deal, the Note 10 Plus, 512 gigabyte, 799. So really, really good deals for an excellent phone. If you're not excited about the Note 20 line of phones that are coming out and you wanna get a, a, a nice deal right now on a really good phone, this is a great deal. I'll link it down below. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus should be out, I would assume, around August, most likely around this time, maybe a little bit sooner, maybe a little bit later, but you're probably looking around August for the release of these tablets. And we've got the battery capacity for the Tab 7 Plus, and it is 40% larger than the Tab S6's battery. Tab S6 battery was 70, 40 milliamps, and you're looking at the Tab S7 Plus being a little over 10,000 milliamps. Now remember, the screen sizes on the Tab S7 and Tab S7 Plus are gonna be 11 inches and 12.4 inches. And the last story is all about the Galaxy Fold 2. Now this Galaxy Fold 2 we're gonna talk about I don't think the one, again, that we're gonna talk about right now, I think this is gonna be the cheaper version of the phone, and I say that because of, you'll see in a second, because of the outside display, basically. I don't think this is gonna be the, the, the complete successor to the Galaxy Fold we have now. So let's talk about this one, because this sounds really, really nice regardless. So as you can see from the headline, Samsung makes waterproof Galaxy Fold phone. Samsung patents Galaxy Fold 2 foldable phone with a narrow, elongated notification screen, a periscope camera, and a waterproof housing. And when we dive deeper into this, it looks like it's going to have a dual camera set up outside on the main, of the main screen notch, similar to the original Galaxy Fold. At the rear, the Galaxy Fold seems to have a, a triple camera set up, and one of those sensors most likely will be a periscope style zoom lens, which is also gonna be in the uh, Galaxy Note 20 phone, like Note 20 Plus. The drawing also shows a side-by-side -side fingerprint reader, which is on the side, just like it was, I believe, on the, on the past one. Stereo speakers and a USB-C port. And remember, that's supposed to be water resistant, so this could be a phone that shows off uh, IP rating, which the Galaxy Fold 1 did not. Now, when we look at the, the front display, you do see the notch on here. That's one of the giveaways that this is gonna be the cheaper version. The, the rumors coming out previously was that the Galaxy Fold 2, the full successor, would not have a notch. It's just gonna be a, a, basically a complete square. Also, on the back of the phone, there's no big display. You only have a little, you know, rectangle of a display that's probably only going to be showing notifications, call information, stuff like that. And previously, the other rumors about this cheaper Galaxy Fold 2 type phone is that it was going to be in that $1099, $1199 price range. I don't know if they're going to be able to hit that, especially with the waterproof or water resistance, um, the you know periscope camera, 
and all that other stuff. I, I just, maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, but this is a, a very exciting phone. I mean, it's nice to have that outside display so you can use it without having to open it up, but someone that wants that big Galaxy Fold experience, this might be a perfect medium between the two to have a cheaper cheaper one, but also have water resistance thrown in there. So I'm excited for it. Uh, we'll see how it goes and comes out and priced at, but I'll definitely follow up with this story. What do you guys think about this cheaper Galaxy Fold? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you down the road.